Hello, in the last videos we have seen about how to create a primary ledger. So what are all the steps are involved that all we have seen. So now we are going to discuss about create a business unit. So what does the mean by business unit? That uh, business unit means it is a physical location. Okay, so for all our uh, products, like uh, it might be a company or a lo uh, location or a division or branch, anything we can consider it as a business unit. So before creating a business unit, I am going to define it first. Um, I am just defining location for business unit. Okay, BU means business unit. And then I will go for creating business unit to assign business functions to business unit these are the st three steps uh, we are going to see now in this video So for that, uh, either you can go with the navigation or you just directly search here, manage location. First, I am going to create location, right? Uh, if you want to go for the location uh, path, then here uh, you have to click on setup and maintenance. After that, uh, in the setup, you have to select a financials. Over there, you have to click on uh, enterprise profile. So directly or else you can directly search here, manage location. Just click on this manage location. You see it comes under enterprise profile. So click on manage location. It will open the location window. So this is for existing uh, locations to search. Uh, right now I am going to show you how to create a new location for our business unit. So this is uh, to create a new location window. So these are the basic details I am just uh, keeping uh, remain same like effective start date and location set. Location set is common set only right now I am using. So we uh, we will discuss later about this location set. Um, what does it mean? Uh, okay so right now I am just creating uh, location right. A location for what? We did learn um, cars cars location like that I am giving okay or you can give underscores as well so this is the way I am creating my location information so I am just giving mandatory fields here uh, just contact details if you require you can give it otherwise you can just uh, skip that uh, Right now, uh, main address. Address we are we have to define. See, once we uh, give this code, best uh, BT learn cars location. We just uh, go for selecting United States. Then uh, just like the type given, and then now the zip code. I'm searching like this. I'm going to select. Yeah, now you see city. Yeah, this one zip code I given one zero one New York City city and county I given. So here shipping details, uh, location information. There are a lot of things with the property location first being uh, and legislative information. I'll discuss all this uh, later on. So we just given right now a basic details for creating a location for our business unit. Now just submit, save, yes, and then submit it. So once it is submitted, now yeah, our location got created. Now that click on that. Now what we have to do? We have to create our what business unit. So, which means that a physical location which uh, all our products or our finished good is stored or uh, a, any kind of uh, products are stored. So, that we can define it as a business unit. 
so now uh, we have to create a business unit either you can search here or you can directly go to here organization structure so here you create click on manage business unit so here you have to create a new one name uh, what i am giving lady learn cars okay so just i given like that to select a cars location okay so which we have created already that i am going to select see this one which we created that one we are going to select it default set i am selecting here comma right now just uh, for demo purpose i just given comma I'm going to select a common set now click on save and close this is for basic creation step for business unit once it is saved now uh, the third step what we have to do we have to assign business functions to business unit see here assign business unit business functions so here assign business so here assign business unit to business functions okay so this is what we are going to do now here i clicked on it uh, assign business unit business functions now here assign business unit business functions select and add apply and go to ask name you just search for our uh, uh, business unit search here yeah, yes select on that save and close click on save and close now it will show you what are all the functions uh, are available and uh, you have to enable what are all the required functions for our business unit so see these there are procurement related functional i mean financial related billing related everything uh, all functionalities are available here so accounting everything whatever the options are business functions are required for you then you have to uh, allocate uh, enable those options to that particular business unit okay so right now i am just enabling all the functionalities to this particular business unit so here primary ledger which we created already that i am going to search here see um search with the btlearn btlearn motors which we created already and below legal entity you have to enable see automatically legal entity displayed here with utila motors which we created so the, uh, this business unit comes under this legal entity so after that click on save and close yeah. this is how you have been uh, creating a business unit and location as well as assign business unit business functions i hope you understood well if you are visiting my channel for the first time please do subscribe so that you will get more updates from my channel thank you